It is a very interesting question to talk about the common agenda um, that the SDGs provide for businesses, investors, but also governments. It is a shared responsibility. Obviously, we have to be clear about who takes priority here, who is the primary actor, and that is obviously government. Governments have signed in September 2015 uh, the uh, Sustainable Development Goals, undersigned them. <clears throat> but actually, business already and also investors were very quick in adopting that same agenda. And there's a good reason for it. Um, it is not only the moral responsibility that is felt by the leaders of the business community as well as the investment community, but it certainly also makes a lot of business uh, or investment sense. SDGs definitely look at the risks that we're running as a global society. I only have to refer to the climate pressure that is on, on us all that makes clear that we have to take action. It's not only with regard to climate action, it's with regard to decent work, decent jobs for people. It's about getting a, a nice roof over your head, access to water, access to financial services, etc. So there is a clear common agenda to work on this. However, we all have different responsibilities. And that is something that we have to keep in mind. Long-term financial and social impact coincide when we actually take into account the uh, long-term perspective of the Sustainable Development Goals. Obviously, the time horizon provided by the goals is 2030. That is very interesting for institutional investors in particular um, because part of their fiduciary responsibility is obviously to match the liabilities and the assets that they have and for which they are responsible. Ultimately, these institutional investors, whether they are pension funds, insurance companies, sovereign wealth funds, they all work for the benefit of their beneficiaries, people like you and me. Ultimately, I have my pensions uh, managed by the largest Dutch pension fund, ABP, and I'm pleased to know that they take into account the SDGs, not only, as I said, for moral purposes, but certainly also to provide me a pension that is worth living in 2030 and beyond, because then I will indeed be retired. Um, so from that perspective, it's also my own self-interest as a beneficiary of the pension fund to promote and support my pension fund in taking that long-term perspective, both financial and environmental, as well as social. And there are good ways to do it. So there are continuously very interesting uh, direct investment opportunities as well as indirect investment opportunities. Institutional investors can use their voting power, they can engage with companies as well as with governments to protect our common interests as members of our global economy and society.